Hello, my name is Jason Smith, and I'm the Outbound PM for ITOM Visibility. I'd like to go through a little bit about firewall audits and reporting today. We've actually got a lot going on in the Paris release. So the introduction of multi-source CDB and the service graph connectors, where we are going to be connecting to multiple third parties to extract, transform, and load data into the CDB. Type-based mapping, uh, it's been there since Orlando, but it's still a very important feature with regards to getting services mapped fast and realizing time to value. And then certificate inventory management, where we are helping customers prevent outages uh, due to expired certificates and overall improve the processes associated with certificate management. And then firewall audits and reporting. This is a new app. And that's what we're going to spend a little bit of time on today. So traditionally with uh, discovery and uh, service mapping, what we've been doing is getting data from somewhere else, like the data center or public cloud, bringing it back to the scene to be and making it available for other ServiceNow applications on the platform. In this case, we have certificate inventory management, firewall audits and reporting that are themselves workflow applications. So you can see there's been a little bit of a strategic shift with regards to the overall capabilities of ITOM visibility. Firewall auditing and reporting has three major components. So first of all, we are discovering the firewalls. Uh, for instance, doing an inventory of the Palo Alto uh, Panorama Firewall Manager, where we bring back the devices, the device groups, the security policies that that uh, firewall manager is managing. We have an audit request flow so that we can give attestations for the uh, fire policies themselves, and also a request fulfillment process uh, when you need a new um, firewall policy. For instance, an application owner may go to the request portal and ask for a port to be open so that the application can function as designed. Okay, let's start in the request portal. I would like to make a request to change a firewall rule. Search for it, find my catalog item, and there is a form that I can fill out to initiate the request. So once I've made that request, I can go into fulfiller mode and I can have a look at the number of open request tasks. So here is the list for the request task. So this was a request initiated from the service portal, requested for Able Tutor. An assignment group was the firewall rock stars. And I can see that this request has already been approved and the change uh, request has started. So once you get to the implement stage in this process, that's when you're going to need to go into the firewall manager itself and make the uh, firewall rule. They have a tagging mechanism, so you should include this number in the tag itself. And that way, if you're in the firewall manager, you can see uh, where which change was associated with this particular policy. And also we use that information on our side so that we can associate these rules with uh, change and, and, and task requests. So we can always have really good tracking from that perspective. Part of this is the ability to audit the validity of the policies themselves. So here I can see that I have 18 outstanding responses. That means we've initiated an audit and there's uh, certain tasks that haven't been uh, accomplished yet. Take a look at the firewall insights, the overall number of security policies, and the unassigned policies. So we really need to have these policies assigned to people so that they can be attested to. So I could use this report, go in here, maybe filter or show matching, and it's possible for me to go ahead and bulk update that so I can get these policies assigned to some people from, from this perspective. So I can update those four rows if I want. Alternatively, if I was in security policies, I may need to import some data from another place to go ahead and, and bulk update this assigned to column. So I could do like this for, for update. And create an Excel template. Some of our customers are working in pretty complicated environments with outsourcers and not everybody's going to have access to ServiceNow. Uh, it could be necessary to import some of this data from other sources. So I'll show you how that looks. So that creates a template. 
and this is the template that needs to be filled out. You can see it's got the sys ID here. So we could just do like this. And we could save that and then go back in here and update. We've got update selected. It's got the sys ID. This is safe to do it this way. Preview the imported data. Scroll down, complete the import. Then if I looked at my security policies, I can see that the assigned to has in fact been updated. Okay, so let's initiate an audit request. Go to the firewall managers, click here, and then I can initiate the audit request. Pretty simple form that needs to be filled out. When you're done with that, press submit. I've already done that. So let's take a look at the auto requests that are open. Okay, so this is the overarching audit request. If I scroll down here, I can see that it has already been approved by the firewall administrator. And there are a number of tasks that we need to respond to. And then there are the excluded policies, which tells us that we had policies that weren't assigned to people. And so therefore there's no one right now that, that can attest to them, but at least I've got good visibility about those policies also. So I need to rectify that and to get those policies assigned to a person. Take a look at this. And this is quite good because we've got many different um, policies on one single form. And the process really is around um, answering these questions here, taking these actions, retain without changes, retain with changes, and delete. Uh, you may get asked about uh, exceptions uh, to rules. Uh, we don't have a facility for that right now, but it's uh, something that can be done in the field. Um, please open up an enhancement request so we can attract that from the idea portal if it's uh, coming up in your customer conversations. So anyway, you work on that, and then when you're done, you eventually put it in a closed complete state and the dashboards are updated uh, appropriately. We are squarely in the workflow business with ITOM visibility. It's not just certificate inventory and management, it's also firewall audits and reporting. Using discovery, we go out to the firewall managers, discover the related devices, device groups, and the associated security policies, and bring that information back to the CNDB. We use that information so that we can provide auditing capabilities. This helps customers lower their risk profile and saves them a ton of time. Request fulfillment is an important part of the equation. We can put SLAs on request fulfillment tasks if we need to. Change is ultimately done because of the request. And we end up with a comprehensive tracking solution and a solution that really helps customers save a lot of time.